On my side here, I have the 9BOT Z10 and I have already done basically more than 1000 kilometers in the last 4 months. I basically don't use my car and I'm going to tell you everything about this beast, what you can expect, is it a good investment that you do? If you want to know everything about this one, stay tuned after the intro. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and let's talk about the 9 bot C10 that I have here. First of all about build quality and the build quality on this one it's amazing. In the first 300 kilometers I fall four times. One of them was because of a stupid guy, the other three it was exactly the same issue. So lack of experience and also the PSI of the wheel was too high. But the first 300 kilometers I was having issues with it and I had a very very bad accident, I'm waiting to go to physiotherapy but I'm okay, I continue to ride anyway. In that accident I, th I thought that I would have lost my 9 bot Z10 because when I fall the 9 bot Z10 went like 15 meters away from me. The handle, I have to tell you guys that is the thing that I hate the most on the 9 bot Z10, the handle is really really fragile so since then I can't open fully but I can open a bit. So that is one of the things that I hate. The other thing also that I don't like is the screws. So the screws around the panels and the piece of plastic that goes between the 9 bot Z10 and the handle, they are horrible. I have already two of them that I can't take them out. So definitely an issue, a con that you have there, but the rest of the body and everything, I have to say that is really, really resistant. The other thing that I really hate on this wheel is the lights. So the lights, they are not strong enough. They are not pointing in the right direction. They point too, too high and on the back you are not really visible. So because of that, I install a few lights on the back to be more visible. And in the way that I install, I have some lights also coming from the sides. So something that I really like because obviously when you ride these type of things nobody's expecting that you can go so fast normally I ride this around 47.5 kilometers per hour it's not the fastest wheel that you have on the market we will talk about that in a second it's quite fast and you can reach places much faster than cars for example to go to work I was taking 35 minutes by car and I take 16 minutes with this one so in my opinion majority of the people that said to you that they don't like the Z10 even if you have experience using other ones you have to learn once again how to use this one. It's the same that you tell me that you are really good using bicycles and you buy a motorbike and you are expecting to have the same control. No, they are similar but they are completely different. And like I said to you guys in the first 300 kilometers, I was not really happy with it and I have to tweak the wheel until I found my own way. For example, maybe for you, you ride always with your feet aligned. In my case, I put my right foot a little bit more in the front and the other one on the back. So in that way, my left foot is the one that I used to break and the other one to accelerate. So everyone is different. This is my way to use the wheel. And I have just to tell you guys that the pressure on your tire is really important. So try to match that to the weight. In my case, like I said, 21 PSI and I have 65 kilos. When we talk about the pedals, I have to tell you guys they are big enough, but the grip tape that comes with it, Mm, is not the best. So if you want to have better grip, I recommend you to buy some screws. I'm going to do maybe another video about that. So I'm going to, I have already them here. So you buy some screws and you are going to buy some grip tape for skateboards and you do that hack. Another thing that is really important is the type of shoes that you use. So don't use any shoes that have like air marks that you have air on your heel and things like that because you are going to lose the control of your 9 bot seat and much, much easier. So what type of shoes you use are really important. So I buy some shoes to use with this. I thought they will be good. So I buy some basketball shoes, but in the end is not. So basically I, I, I feel that I'm not in control of the, the 9 bot Z10 in the same way that I use other ones that I don't have any air on my heel. When we talk about the cushions that comes included, they are rubbish. They are really expensive. So if you want to replace them, they are really expensive and the glue, my God, is terrible. So I have to use contact glue because they was always falling and they broke everywhere and on the top ones, on the middle, it was always losing the strength so I put contact glue 
and now they don't come out. Obviously, that is a problem because now if I want to open my 9bot Z10, I will have to take that out. And besides that, obviously, if I want to replace it and everything, or if I decide I don't want those pads anymore there, my 9bot Z10 will not look as well. So I'll have to buy all the shell once again. Not the best design that you have there. The material is really soft. It breaks really easy. So just to let you know. Another cool feature that you have with the 9bot Z10 is the possibility possibility to change the sensibility of your wheel. So in other words, basically, if it's not the level zero, the sensibility is in the maximum. When you put the level four, it will be less sensible. That is good when you are just starting to learn how to use a UC, but when you are fully comfortable, you want the maximum response as possible. So you want to accelerate the fastest possible and you want to brake the fastest possible. And another thing that is also cool that you have with the 9bot Z10, since you move your body back is going to start breaking for you so that is something that i really like there are a few of you guys that don't like that sensation but i prefer to use it that way because i feel more safe i have already tried to turn off the assistant brake mm, it's not for me maybe it's for you but just to let you know that you have that option to change that configuration another thing that i don't like so much is the gap that you have between the pads on the top and the pedal so basically this gap here okay this gap goes too much inside and what happened is it creates a gap between the machine and your leg so i purchased these pads from gform they are for football that normally you put in this area of your leg but i use it here so what is the benefit first of all i'll be in contact with the machine with the 9 bot z10 and in that same time i get an extra protection on my leg because believe me when these pedals they hit your leg is really really painful and in the same time when you move your leg to brake or to accelerate the pads move with your leg so you are always feeling the grip around the body of the z10 so definitely something that i recommend is not really expensive they are really good quality i use all my protections out from this company if you want i can do a review of it but i'll recommend to do that because it will increase much more your experience when you are riding the 9 bot 10 so when we talk about recharging time it takes around eight hours to have a full charge so that is one of the things that i would like to see improve on the 9 bot 10 is a fast charging so if we say like four hours to have a fully charged 9bot Z10, it will be amazing, but it's not the reality. So something just to consider about if you want to purchase a 9bot Z10. Something else that I just want to point it out is the customer service. This is not released in Europe, so forget there is no customer service from 9bot, from Segway is the worst customer service that I have tried until today. So if you have a problem, you have to resolve by yourself. So it's just to let you know, if you are not comfortable with this, the EUCs, any EUCs that you have on the market will not be the solution for you because majority of them, they are from China. Obviously you can find few, few guys that can support you and help you, but many times it's better that you know how to do it. If you have a problem just changing the tire, you have to disassemble all the wheel. So you have to be comfortable with that if you want an uh, electric unicycle. But let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about the 9bot Z10. Comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want. But I hope to see you in the next one.